Okay, so uh, it's lucky. Um, basically, we're this one can get a bit confusing, but I'm going to um, sort of do each thing individually and then put it all together at the end. Um, Timestamps will be in the description, I suppose. Uh, ticket numbers are usually consistent of even number of digits, which means we can just sort of slice um, n in half, uh, and then we'll always have um, one half of the ticket and then the second half of the ticket. Um, also, it's considered lucky if the sum of the first half is equal to the sum of the second half. So the idea in this is we're going to um, take n, we're going to change it to a string, we're then going to slice that string um, to, in two halves, and then with them two strings which are in half, we're going to turn the strings into an array. And then with that array, we can then pump it into the reduce method and then change the strings to numbers and add the values together and then return if they're equal uh, to each other or not, which will then give us the outcome true or false. So first up, if we say const string or const s for string is equal to n dot to string now n is a string um, now n is a string we want to slice that string into two halves so if we say const uh, first half is equal to s dot slice now with the first one we would want 12 and this would give us 12 so we'll just do that for now and then const uh, second half is equal to s dot slice and for instance on this one it's going to be 2 and 4 mm. yeah console.log uh, first half and second half and if we just run the tests now we're given 12 and 30 and just bear in mind they're strings not numbers however this isn't going to work for all of them for example we have this one will work for that one it will work it won't work for this one because we've got two six one so we have three and then five, three, four, we have three on the other side and we're just taking the first two. So what we actually want to do is find out the length. So S dot length, which will give us the length of that string. And then we just want to divide it by two. So it'll give us the first half. Um, what test is that? Just to make it easy, test seven. So if I go down to test seven, We've now got the oh goodness me, we've now got the first half, two, six, one. And then we want to do something similar for the second half. So we know that S the length divided by two is going to take us to half, the half of um, the string. So S dot length divided by two. And then with this one here, it's literally just going to be S dot length, because we just want the full length. So it should give us 12 and 3, and then I think it was 7, yeah, uh, 2, 6, 1, and now 5, 3, 4. So we're always going to get the first half and the second half. Great. Let's get rid of that. So the next part is we would want to um, change the string into an array, and we do that with uh, split. So const, I'm just going to say... Array one is equal to first half dot split, and we want to split it so every single sort of um, indexed index zero or zero, one, and two of that string. I can't think of the words of what you'd call it. Every single character, there we go, um, is now its individual element. I need to return that. 
just return array one. Yeah, so each character is its own element, one, two, and then we want to do the same for the second half, and we'll just call that const array two. Second half dot split, exactly the same. And that'll do the same. Um, now we've got our array, we would want to um, put reduce on it because we want to find out the value of one and two. So just do const x or yeah, whatever, const x is equal to um, array one dot reduce and then a and b and we just want to add a and b together. But you're probably thinking, wait a second, you can't just do a plus b. And that's right, and that's because of bits of string, and you, it, it just won't work. You can't add um, two, I believe you can't add two strings, and it's just, it's just worked. I believe you've got to change them into a number. Yeah, well, oh, okay, you can. But it won't add the, in, the um, integers together. It will just, you've got, um, I'll just change it back into a string. Um, console log of a one uh, return x. So yeah, we've got one and two as its own element in the array. We're doing um, a which is one, a plus b which is two, and now we're just um, putting them back into a string together. Um, so we we don't really want that. We want to change these to a number, and we just literally do that with number. So number a and num and number b and what that will do is it will just basically change the first element and the second element into a number add them together and that's what x will equal so x will oh, don't want to submit x will equal three fantastic literally do exactly the same for the second array so just change that Const, I ain't got a wire any of right now. Um, and then if I just console log x and y, you'll see they're both free now. Um, can even do a uh, type of for this. I don't think I've done that right, have I? No, type of. Oh, is it? Oh, it was a lowercase o. Okay. And then it's now a number. So if we literally just return x equal y, it will return if it's if um, the first half is equal to the second half. And what producers do is just add in the um, the, the numbers together as well. Just uh, it's it's passed, but we just go down to seven. Um, all what it will do here is a will be two and b will be six, uh, which will equal eight, and then it will just return. Then then the next bit will be eight plus one, so it will just pump a back into reduce, and then like a will then equal eight, and it will be eight plus one. So for the second one, it will be five, which a will be five and b will be three, it will plus them together, which is eight, and then a will equal, yeah, a will equal eight, plus b, which will equal four now, add them together, which will equal 12, and if you put them together, it, it'll be false anyway. But this is very uh, messy. And what we can do is, um, you can um, basically make it one line if you really want to, but it, it, it can be quite difficult to read because you have your um, limited characters, how many you meant to have on a single line. So we'll just shorten it down a, a little bit. And um, first of all, um, how shall we do that? So if we, first half, it can get so confusing now I've done it like this. I might as well retype it. So const, we're always going to need const s is equal to n um, to string. Um, 
because that's never going to change. So const s1, so the first half, or const first f1, yeah, f1, is equal to, um, just get rid of that, um, s dot slice, zero um, s dot length divided by two dot split because we want to split it into an array and now we just want to reduce it reduce a b so all what I'm doing is just um, putting them together so the split is now going onto the slice and the reduce is going on to the split and it will it will return um, each integer added up together for the first half will now equal s1 uh, well equal f1 which will be the, the first half uh, total one maybe that would be better total one uh, and then number a plus number b And then we can literally just, if I just copy and paste that, this one here, we want to be for the first part. And then we want the second one to be s dot length for the second value of uh, slice. Uh, split, reduce a, b, number, a, total two. So literally all of that is now in these two lines. Well, yeah, um, in line three and in line four. And now if we just return total one uh, is equal to total two, it's passed. I mean, you, you could even make it so um, you just return In this condition, get rid of that. S dot slice, S dot slice. If that is equal to that return, so this will either equal true or false. Run tests. And then it's just a hell of a lot of typing, but say for an Instance, we want to say get rid of the s just copy that now wherever s is so return s dot slice is now n dot to string this is n dot to string Have we got any more s's that's here that's there and I think I've got them all now if we return this, sorted.